and our only archaeologist, well, is a, quote, shadow of his former self. All right, so put this with the spark. Let's see if we can get something flowing from this broken conduit on the floor, if I don't electrocute myself in the process. I should have been an electrician. <laughs> yes, yes, you should have. And with that, okay, so this should be the combination. And yet it is not. Uh, we have a gold one, but the gold one really isn't going to do anything. And the green one, have we, have we used the green one? Hmm. Try it. Yeah, let's try its combination. Blue square, green square, blue, blue square, diamond, green square, green blue circle. diamond, green circle. Okay, we're, we're going to have to look at this a couple of times, but I think we're good. Okay, blue square and green square. This is one of those times where I really do wish for a back button. Okay, so blue diamond, I believe. And then it was green circle. I think it was green circle, blue diamond. This is why I put them in two shapes at a time, people. Blue diamond, green blue circle. diamond, green circle. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wow. This one's been torn up a little bit. So, uh, we, we didn't do this one, at least. We, we can at least tell the aliens we didn't do this one. Tram call. Wah, wah, wah. Next stop, menswear. Yes, there is a menswear spire. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's more for elevators. What was that? That's more like if you, we were riding in an elevator. But we're riding a tram. So, uh, next stop, uh, MGM but Grand. But, uh, a tram can go down to hole just as much as an elevator can. <laughs> Have we not learned anything from Plucky Duck? I don't remember or trams. Ba or Baby Plucky? <laughs> I, think it, I don't think it was a Tiny Toons thing. I think it was a, a Animaniacs thing when it happened. It might have been. I... Well, if it's Plucky, then it'd have to be Tiny Toons. No, because Baby Plucky showed up in Animaniacs, too. Oh. Um, okay, so there's not really anything in the tram station, but now we have... Oh, look at all of this. Just even more wonderful artwork in the dig. So I guess I'd better answer this best uh, Disney Channel movie. Uh, not necessarily best, just favorite. Favorite? Um... Well, technically, a favorite would be a personal best. So, okay. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, is that actually taking me outside? No, I don't want to go outside. And over here, into a nest. So we're we're gonna want to keep this in mind, but we're we're not gonna go there just yet. Let's go ahead and go to the oh yeah a pit is so much better than a nest right <laughs> and there you go oh bunch of nice bats there's so many games gotta have so many bats exactly thanks james we appreciate that line because <laughs> we use it constantly but technically these things are bats they're flying triangles what's that a bat a flying triangle yeah exactly what are they call bats then triangles that doesn't work. Oh, and look at this. So now we have another panel here. Can we go over here? No. This is pretty much the room. Oh, wait. The joke should go. What do they call triangles then? Bats? <laughs> so let's just go ahead and use... Um, there's actually a panel here, and it actually allows you to... Let me show you. It, should, it actually has a combination. So let's just, for the, for the sake of argument, put in... Green circle, blue circle, green circle, something. I don't know. Just one that. of these. It doesn't matter which. Oh, this is a hard one for me because a lot of the the Disney Channel movies I have not liked. Or if they had potential for me to like them, uh, my brother watched them. My little brother watched them like sixty bajillion times, <laughs> and pretty much assured that I wasn't gonna like it. 
that. Amazing map system. You don't even have to refold it when you're done. <laughs> exactly. Folded, folded maps. This game is so 90s. And just, just as an added little Easter egg, we're going to do this one, because I believe this is the one that leads to the Tomb Spire, which is what that one is called. Okay, so Red Diamond, Blue Diamond. Uh, and, and I'm trying to think about this while I'm doing this. Again, I really wish I had a back button for, for these combinations. Okay, so it was red, red diamond, blue diamond, blue square, green triangle. Blue square, green triangle. And what happens here? Oh. So there is more to that crypt than I first thought. Hopefully that'll that'll unlock the problem here. But let's let's go to this other opening. I guess if for no other reason, because mm. I was kind of a Kim Possible fan back in the day, kind mm. of, uh, maybe the movie. Uh. I didn't think the movie was horrible. Um, I thought it was okay. All right, so it looks like we have another strange device, probably for the light bridges. So let's take a look at it. Oh, no, it's not working. Oh, what are we going to do? Match. I don't know. How about we adjust the lens? Just needs a little adjustment. Nope. Another broken light bridge. Maybe it needs more adjustment. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. <laughs> Press the button. We just need to take a leap of faith. <laughs> exactly. Another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. Must be something wrong inside the control panel. Okay. So, believe it or not, this is actually where it gets a little complicated. Again, this is Dig trying to be missed. But you actually do have to go in here and so power it. So this is it. what's in the guts of these machines. Okay, so all we have to do is make sure that all of these three spots get hit. And with the appropriate laser beam. The laser gazer beam. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Can we do this? Yes. So. Oh, crap. I had it too. So we need the green one on that one. There we go. And then. Can't really turn that. Nope. No, crap. Okay, so this is the blue one. Okay, so all but the red one are being hit now. And that should do it. Pretty impressive for someone who never took a class in alien physics. All right, time to press the button. Still doesn't work. Another what the hell? Just the lens. If at first you don't succeed. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to let you take a wild guess as to what this spire's named. Because this the is map it. Spire. It's the map spire. It's pretty much like the, the one thing that people have, or the one thing that Boston has defined from the spire is always what, what, uh, names it. So the Museum Spire, where we found the museum, Planetarium Spire, we don't know what this one is yet, and then we have the Tomb Spire. But now that we have learned a little bit more about the Tomb Spire, let's go ahead and come on back and see if he'll actually go do what I was going to have him do. There we go. Whee! Ride the triangle down. Ride the triangle, bitches. That's gonna be a title. That's got to be a title for one of these things now. Ride the triangle. Okay, just remember to do it, or Brooke will kill you. Yeah, exactly. Forlorn Hope will kill me. 
Oh, so we have a door here and a bunch of broken bones by it. That's not, that's not usually a good sign, but let's go ahead and go to the door. Uh-oh. Uh oh, crap, that's a life crystal. Hi, Poochie. Well. Oh, now suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from, anyway? You gotta think about that. That's a pretty elaborate security system. You pretty much guarantee that your guards never, never can go off their post. Well, but that's okay, though, because we have another pile of broken bones. We already know what this trap did. So, let's just go ahead and use this trap against itself. Hopefully. Hi, dog. You stole my nachos, you bastard! I didn't mean to! Yes, you did! Oh. That worked out rather well. I would just like to point out, this is like the one of the first times blood has ever, like, even in pixelated form, was ever in a LucasArts game. Never happened up until this point, I don't think. People are going to have to remind me if, uh, if, I'm, get it open. if I'm not remembering. Okay. A life crystal fell from this slot and resurrected that guardian creature. So, can you use the door now? I can't get it open. Uh, I have a feeling I know how to solve this. Slot, maybe? Yeah. That's what I thought. The door evaporated when the engraving touched the slot. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. Maybe to meet it. Mm. Oh, look at this. So, a little pyramid out in the middle of nowhere. So, a listener actually wanted us, since Steven Spielberg was part of this. Maggie, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll I found something. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Must have been important to them. A king or something. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. <clears throat> but this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us, back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. Okay, so what I was trying to say before is like, so we actually did have a, uh, a viewer of, of our Let's Plays who also knows that we're fans of the Nostalgia Critic, want to remind us mm -hmm. that we're technically playing a Steven Spielberg game, right? and we haven't been mentioning his spotlight fetish at all. Because <laughs> there really isn't one, people. Because he hasn't direct, he didn't direct it, he just... No, no, he, he just co-wrote this, but... I mean, there the are concept. some spotlights, but I wouldn't call them spotlights because it's just like sunlight hitting, hitting that area. It just yeah. looks like a spotlight. Um, and now, Maggie doesn't actually know this, but technically, if it, this worked on the door, it should work on the pyramid. I don't know if we're doing a good thing, but there you go. So this alien is presumably an alien corpse. corpse. Well, we have to try it at least once. <laughs> should you save, perhaps? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we should. Maybe that would be a good idea to do uh, magic cut. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we'll save it again. And uh, let's go ahead and make a potentially dangerous mistake. Let's go ahead and use the life crystal on the corpse. He's very tall. Or I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. Laham Chiadnak, Trestalum, Kalatisia Nea Um, Eklash Park, 
So you could technically talk to the alien. But you can't understand him. But you can't understand him at all. So we'll just go ahead and mess around with this a little bit. How does it feel to be alive again after all these years? I can't believe I said something so lame. <laughs> I acknowledge you so. So technically he will say the exact same thing every time because obviously there's a language barrier. But thank hopefully this is something that Maggie can actually help us out with in the long run. So we're going to go ahead and stop talking to him. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. You can go back to sleep now or whatever. I acknowledge you so. I'd better tell Maggie about this. Wow, we cut to Maggie this time. Maggie, come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this. But take this inscription yeah. here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Oh, what are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Frank! Anybody! Maggie! Frank! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn. I think we need to cover something really quick. You're supposed to be our Xenomorph expert, and you didn't see that coming! That was a freaking Xenomorph, man! Pretty much. Maggie's gonna have a baby in her tummy! Well, that's and that good. baby's gonna rip out of her tummy! I've never seen a single alien movie, but I at least know that! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, we need to figure out what's going on with, uh, with Maggie. But I have a feeling we're going to need some help, which means we have to go try and get some help from Brink. Don't know how well this is going to go, people. So let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Life Crystals. Uh, let's see, he is on the Planetarium Spire, I believe. Yes. Or actually, no, he was on the tube spire, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we were actually right near him. Oh, and see, there you go. We can actually see Brink off in the distance. What are you doing here, Lo? I don't want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Hey, if we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. You're the tough guy, Lo. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. But you're just a geologist! Insert South Park joke here. <laughs> Alright, so, unfortunately, I have a feeling if we talk to Brink, he's just going to have the exact same reaction that he just did. He, he doesn't care about Brink, uh, about uh, Maggie. And I was going to say he doesn't care about Brink, but actually Brink is the only one he cares about right now. Uh, but just so happens right here is a crystal stash. I wonder if it's his. Ah. I don't need your help. Something tells me we just found a motivator. So, maybe if we can get Brink out of here, we can take his, his stash. And then he'll help us, right? Because that's how made-for-TV movies told me how that works. <laughs> well, it just so happens that we have some bat creatures up here. And what do bats hate? Light. The light. So, be bathed in the light, you bat creatures! Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No. Go away. See, that's the scream I want to know what that because that's the other Wilhelm scream. That's used in a lot of movies too. I've never heard that scream before. Yeah, it's in war movies. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Um 
Okay, so Crystal Stash, let's go ahead and take that. Uh-oh. You thief! Give those back! I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? One way to get him to, to follow us. So let's go ahead and head over to where Maggie was. Actually, we don't even need to do that because I know where Maggie is. Remember how I said we need to keep a certain area in our memory? Well, now that comes into play. So technically here is where the nest of the beast is. Let's go ahead and step on in. And there's Maggie. Maggie, is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How can she be all right? She's bound up in that web. Yeah, and here is the monster. This guy is big and nasty. Smells pretty bad, too. Well, let's see if we can at least get its attention. I don't want to be the one to attract his attention. Uh, Brink? Your flashlight still has a bright beam. Alright, Brink. Come here. Brink. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, Brink. You want to sneak or distract? I will be the diversion. Okay. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime faced, mucus brain, furry legged abductor <laughs> of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Did you follow any of that? No. <laughs> I'm a scientist! Back off, man. No, you I'm a scientist. Idiot. Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you're <laughs> Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Move your silly buttocks! I now, I now ask that we use that now for whatever we need to get out of anything in a going? Let's Play. We need to say, move your silly buttocks, you fool. Don't leave me. Where are you going? Actually, this is, this is the way that we need to go. Because, if you'll notice, there was a little bit of a grate right next to Maggie. Mm -hmm. Which means that something is getting filtered through that. Makes you kind of wonder what that something is. Could it be by chance water? Oh, look, here's another grate that's kind of similar. So maybe what we can do is push this rock and divert the water. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. <laughs> there we go. And now water's starting to leak through. So we've pretty much done everything we can at this point. Okay, so hit the nest. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Of course it does. You're the diversion. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got a brain trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. But if you'll notice, the brain has something that's pretty close to Maggie that is sticking out. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. So maybe if we ask Maggie, she'll actually use it. Robin. What is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grate sealing something off. It's a grate sealing something off. <laughs> what are you doing, Boston? I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. There should be a lot of pressure. I'll remember that if I need a bath. Okay, so... I've got to find a way to get rid of your six-legged boyfriend once and for all, Maggie. Just try to do it before he gets rid of me once and for all. Crap. 
<laughs> I love the fact that there's danger all over the place. We're having casual conversation. What's your next move, Brains? Thanks. Okay. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave.